Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this video. This video is something a little bit different to what you might normally find on my channel. Today's video is all about my gorgeous brand new British short hair kittens. So if that's not for you and you've come here for houseplant content then that's absolutely fine. I'll see you in the next one but for now I really 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 want to share with you two little boys that have brought absolute joy and chaos to my life over the past, is it a week now? Yeah, literally one week yesterday and it's just been the most just honestly I just feel blessed. I feel blessed to have animals around me and to to give love out and to get it back from them and it's just it's just the best. I've learned so much about them in the week that I've had them. I've discovered their personalities and everything else. If this sounds like a video that you might want to watch then keep on watching. They may or may not show up while I'm filming. I'm filming in my living room. It's the coolest room in the house. I have this on my lap because they like to jump around and their little claws are like, literally, they're like hypodermic needles. So I do tend to keep this on me when I'm in here, which is very, very hot. But they might come down, they might not. They're actually asleep upstairs at the moment. So we will see. Maybe they will maybe they won't. I wanted to do this video slightly differently to what I'm doing it. I had a big big plan to get them and film like a little diary entry every day and things like that and sort of do check-ins about how they're doing and it's it just became very very impractical very quickly and I knew it as soon as I got them. I actually got the kittens about three days early. They were supposed to come to me on the 22nd. They came to me on the, the 19th. So they came to me a little bit early and that's because the owner was going away. So I wanted to do sort of vlog check-ins. It didn't really happen that way. What's happened is I've actually written some notes down about what's happened every day. And of course I have an abundance of footage. So for anybody watching that is not a houseplant person and you've come here just for the cats, which it does happen. I've done it on YouTube with other people people so it does happen. I want to tell you a little bit about my house I suppose. I am single living alone in a brand new house. I've been in maybe about six months so there's no other pets here it is just me and them but generally speaking it's just me and I wanted something just really sweet to have around the house. I wanted a little bit of company and I went for the British short hair breed because they are known for being very very easy cats. They're a little bit fat don't get me wrong, but they're known for being very, very easy to take care of. I think they're rated as quite a good beginner's cat. Now, I have had cats before. I had a Persian kitten when I was about seven or eight, and she lived a long time, actually. And after that, I had just a regular, I don't even know what breed you would call them, just a regular black and white cat. So I do have experience with cats, and I have experience with cats on both ends of the spectrum. So I have experience with cats that are... Well, like my Persian, she was just so docile, so sweet, so kind. And then I have more experience with, to be honest, a little bit of a menace cat. Before I got the cats, I know you, you want to know what their names are. I know, totally get it. If you haven't already looked at the comment section, I tried to give you guys clues as to what I'd named these cats and I must have done a terrible job of it. I don't blame you, I blame me. So I tried to give out a couple of clues. I'll put them up on the screen as to what I was potentially naming them. It turns out nobody guessed except from one person in a lot of people in a lot of answers. So I would like to introduce to you my beautiful two little boys and their names are Billy and Teddy, AKA Bill and Ted. Excellent! Excellent! <laughs> I don't really know why I ended up with that name. I think, did I say it to a friend as sort of a, like a, a semi-joke when I was sort of picking them out? I think it was before I met them. I can't remember. Yeah, I think it was before I even met them. And I said, oh, what about Bill and Ted? And it, it stuck. It just stuck straight away. I don't call them Bill and Ted. I do call them Billy and Teddy. They don't quite know their names yet. I feel like they, they're getting there. <laughs> but they obviously don't know their names yet. It's only been a week, but I do my best but I do just refer to them as Billy and Teddy. I don't call them Bill and Ted. They are the cutest. Now they are both lilac British short hairs. One is actually, for some reason, I don't know why, one is darker than the other. And if you know Bill and Ted, you might be able to guess which one is the darker one. The darker one is Teddy. He is, it's weird, he looks smaller than Billy. Billy looks longer and lighter, but Teddy's actually heavier. 
he's a little bit stockier. I think when I got them, because they had a vaccination shortly before coming to me, and that weighed them, and I think Billy is about 1.8 kilograms, and Teddy is about 2.1 kilograms. He's a little chunk, honestly. They are, I suppose now they're 13 weeks old, because they were 12 weeks old, and they just look amazing. They look so cute, honestly, I can't even deal with them. They have the softest fur, they have the sweetest temperaments, they're absolutely gorgeous. So, I have some notes written on my phone of basically the last week, what happened. Again, there'll be videos over the top of me talking because I did take plenty. I really wanted to take videos on like a DSLR, like what I'm filming on now, to get that quality for y'all. But seriously, you just can't do that. You just can't do that. You can't lug a big camera around to hand because a lot of the times, and you will see this, there are videos of basically them sat here on the sofa with me and I, I can't really go off and grab a camera because then I've missed the moment. So it ended up me just getting literally everything on my phone. So if you see a slight quality decline, that is why. But I took some notes about generally how it was for me over the last week. And I want to talk you through it because I've had a really nice time, to be honest. I've had a really nice time with it. So we start on Friday. The kittens came to me early, actually. They came to me, I think they came to me at about half five in the evening. I'd actually just, and I mean just, travelled home from my my home city, basically. I was up there for a day or so. And I'd just come home and I was home about an hour and a half. And then they arrived which I did know about prior to going away, which was really, really useful because I just made sure the house was absolutely like it was ready before I went away. I have cat scratchers, I have toys, I have more cat scratchers, I have more cat scratchers, I have three different types of beds, I have a cat fountain for water, I have bowls for wet food, I have bowls for dry food, I have mats for said food. Oh my goodness, I, I literally, I have most things and I got them and the owner brought them in, the breeder, and they immediately, and I think it was because the, she was in the room and that these kittens are very, very, very socialized and very, very loving. So she was in the room and they were just sort of running around. They, they ran straight away to the cat scratcher in the corner of the kitchen and they were investigating it. I think one of them had a little sniff of the water fountain straight away. They then went around the corner to where their food was straight away. They were just very, very confident. I think the, the breeder stayed about 15 minutes just to sort of see them settle in and stuff. And then she left because she had to leave. And as soon as she'd gone, it was a slightly different story. The, the kittens were a lot more wary of me because obviously you've just been dropped into a new place and now there's a new person, and it's all very scary stuff. My plan for the cats was, I know a lot of people say to basically have them in one room for a week and sort of let them out after that. I didn't know how I wanted to play it because basically we're, we're not in summer, but it's very, very hot at the minute, and my back kitchen has skylights, so it's, like, it's, it's kind of like a giant conservatory. So I thought, oh my God, they're going to get way too hot in there. So I can't necessarily have them in there for a week. It genuinely would not be fair on them. So they were in for the first 24 hours, I think. And when I got them, obviously the breeder went, I sort of sat on the floor, which is not ideal because I have a really bad back still. It's getting better. I sort of sat on the floor, just put loads of toys out. And I didn't ask them any questions or anything. I just sat around them. And I just let them play amongst themselves. I let them explore. I didn't really interact. I didn't go and try and grab them or anything like that. I just stayed, not super still, but I just sat on my phone on the floor and just let them do whatever they're going to do, really. And I think after about maybe an hour, they were playing like right next to me and they were sort of knocking each other into my legs and stuff like that. Or they would stand and sort of lean on my legs on the floor. Or they would come right behind me because I was sort of leaning against my countertop. There's like a little triangle gap behind me where I'm leaning on the counter. So they would go in that and they would sit in that. And I was like, oh, okay, good. I think I started to pet them a little bit. I don't believe I picked them up. I don't think I did that till the next morning. Yeah, I don't believe I picked them up really till the next morning. But I stayed in there from about half five till maybe half nine. Then I, my back was just too bad. And they seemed to be really slowing down. So I came in here, I watched a little bit of TV, maybe for an hour. I did a quick check on them before I went to bed and I went to bed. I did feed them. I fed them what the breeder gave me and she told me how much to give them and just, you know, put it out. I don't think either of them ate anything. It's possible that Billy ate something, but 
definitely not Teddy or was it the other way around? I can't really remember. Did I make a note on if they did? No, I've said that they didn't eat it, so they didn't eat it that day. So they're in the kitchen, rest of the house is sealed off. Next morning I come down, I make a drink in the kitchen, I sit with them. I think I came down into the kitchen and I probably took a video and it will be a really, really crap video because I wasn't expecting to actually use it. <laughs> But I came down and I think they were on their little cat tower in the corner and they sort of looked at me. I think they thought about it and they actually came down from the tower and came to see me, which was absolutely lovely. So that was that. I, I think I had to go to the gym, maybe about half 11 or something like that. So I stayed with them all morning. I played with them a little bit. My kitchen door, the door to my kitchen is actually glass. So they could see through it. And Billy, at minimum, Billy was crying to be out. I think because he could see me leave occasionally and come back in and he was crying to be out. So in the afternoon, I did actually let them out. It was only for about half an hour and then I put them in and then I think I brought them out later on. And they were absolutely, like they weren't skittish. They were just really confident, sniffing around. The thing I've, I've started to notice at this point is a little bit about their personalities. So Billy is a lot more confident than Teddy and generally Teddy will lean on Billy a lot. Billy is sort of like the leader. He's, he's feisty, is Billy. Um, so Teddy would follow suit. Billy would come up to me a lot. I think the day after that, or was it that day? Billy would snuggle next to me and then Teddy joined in later on. So in the afternoon, I had a little snuggle. I watched some TV and I think Billy was snuggling on me, so on this blanket. And Teddy came and lay next to me. I think at one point they were both there, but at some point Billy came and lay on me, which was really cool because both of them are affectionate, but Teddy is the super affectionate one. But Teddy's just quieter and it just takes him a little bit more time, I think. So we had a little snuggle. I don't think there's anything else to report for that day specifically. So the next day when I on Sunday, Billy really came into his own. He became an absolute menace. And I mean a menace. And I knew he was a menace before I got him. And um, the breeder basically said, Teddy, they're both cuddly and they're both affectionate, but Teddy is super sweet and cuddly and Billy is a menace. And if he wants to go somewhere, he will. If he wants to do something, he will. <laughs> and he will be affectionate on his terms. So he was extremely playful, probably because his confidence has come right out. He was a little bit of a nightmare, to be honest. And I thought to myself, right, I'm just going to make a bold move here. They were both upstairs at one point and I'd had cuddles with Billy but Teddy just wasn't quite as forthcoming, so I thought, I'm just going to make a bold move. And I went upstairs, I picked Teddy up, I brought him down here on his own, I popped him on me, and we sort of did this rotation where sometimes he'd sleep on me, then he'd be next to me, then he would sleep here a lot, they like to do that, and he just rotated himself around me every so often, and he stayed with me for about five hours. He didn't leave the couch when I put him on the couch, which was really cute. And at one point we both fell asleep. I sort of lay down here on the couch and I sort of left like a little, a little cove in front of me and we both just flat out. I went upstairs to shower after that and I think I came back down literally five minutes later and poor Teddy, I'd kind of left him sleeping and I came back down and he was in the corner down there behind the plant. And I was like, oh, bless you. I think he'd felt less confident since I'd left and his brother was upstairs. So I picked him back up, sat him back on me, and he was fine again. That was fine. Um, and he has been fine. He's just he's just less, just less confident, in a word, less confident. He's not timid, he's not frightened, he's just less confident. And he was really, really affectionate with me once I'd made the first move. It was really weird. And now, obviously, he's just super affectionate. They both are, generally. But that was the first time that I'd had full-on affection from both of them, I would say. After this, I've had them out of the kitchen. The only doors I will shut are the bathroom door, because I'm just a little bit paranoid. I shut all the bathroom doors and the toilet lids are down and things like that. My office is shut, but the two bedrooms upstairs are usually open, and those are the other two doors. But when it gets to the point where it's sleepy time, I do actually keep them out of my room. And this is because I've had a kitten before, and at night time... You ain't sleeping. You ain't sleeping. You get your feet attacked through the duvet. They will charge around and it's just best not. When they are older, I would absolutely love it if they could sleep on the bed next to me. But they're a little bit young for it and they, they play fight and they really go for it. They really go for it. It's not so much zoomies or anything. It's more the play fighting that happens a lot. So I have been sleeping sort of by myself. There's been a few mornings where I've woke up at about 5am just to go to the loo or whatever. And I've thought, yeah, it, you know, it's fine now. I've opened the door for them to come in and I've had to pop them back out after about 10 minutes because they just, they're just off the map. 
Billy loves, 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 even if you're sat here or you're lying in bed, he loves to attack this space here in your armpit. He thinks it is the best thing on planet Earth and it really hurts. I've got little scratches literally everywhere. Um, Teddy doesn't, to be fair. Teddy's just, he's just very, he reminds me a lot of my first cat, my, uh, my grey Persian. But their two personalities are same but very different. One is definitely more chill than the other. Teddy likes certain things and I have I have discovered a lot more differences between them. They play slightly differently, things like that. Like Teddy prefers it when you move something along the floor. Billy likes to jump up. They're a little bit different in that way. Their eating habits are okay. They are, I, I realize I've skipped a bit, but they were eating fine after like a couple of days, literally, and now they're they're fine, they're on my food now. And oh, Billy's such a bully. I will put food out for both of them, and Billy likes to have his, and then he will go for some of Teddy's, and Teddy won't stop him. Teddy will just be pushed out of the way. And then Teddy goes and gets the leftover of Billy's, and then Billy comes back to Teddy and then has that. And they're not fighting or anything, and Teddy definitely gets enough to eat, because he's, he's just... I don't think he eats quite as much, despite being heavier. Really odd. But they eat absolutely fine. They drink fine. I would say Teddy drinks more, for sure. They're using the litter tray, things like that. I have pine litter in the litter tray, and that's working really, really well. And I think by this point, their, their patterns have become very, very clear to me. Very, very clear to me. So they will be very, very, very active pretty much all through the night, all morning up until 11 o'clock, and then they start to die down a little bit. By this time now, which is why I know they're asleep, this is half past one in the afternoon now, and they will be flat out upstairs. So if they didn't come down, which I don't think they're going to, that doesn't surprise me at all at all. So from now, they're probably going to be asleep most of the day until possibly eight-ish, something like that. I did feed them when I get up in the morning. I'm trying to make it the same time, but it varies slightly each day. But I don't think they're too bothered by, you know, the hour variation on either side. So they might get fed at around about seven, maybe eight, but it's probably between seven and eight on the morning. And then they get fed at around about 8 p.m. on a night. Again, it's varied sometimes, just depends. And they've been absolutely fine with that. Absolutely fine with that. They do get biscuits during the day. I think Teddy enjoys the biscuits more than Billy does, but they eat the biscuits fine as well. And I haven't had any problems. So yeah, they will have that food and then they'll be more playful. And I sort of have to get to bed quickly and shut the door. <laughs> right now they're in the second bedroom right near there. Teddy likes to be in under the bed and Billy likes to lie down the side. I don't really know why they go in there. My scent isn't in there or anything. So I don't want to say that personally. My scent's in the bedroom but I also do shut the door to the bedroom a lot. They do seem to be, and this is something I've really noticed about, I'm, I'm going to assume it's the breed compared to any of the other breeds I've had, which admittedly, two breeds, get that. But they seem to be so highly trainable, and I know I've read that they are, but I'm experiencing it quite a lot. Like, they just know not to do things. It, it's so, it sounds so silly. They won't scratch to be in places, even though they want to. They will just patiently wait. When I'm working in the office and the door's shut, they will just patiently wait. And even when I have the door open, I'm not saying they won't come in or anything, but they just seem really respectful of the boundaries in the house. I leave the, the door to my bedroom open all day and I actually open the windows because they open from the top. The other bedroom that they sleep in, they open outward and I don't want to do that. So mine are safe, but they don't tend to go in there. They do when I'm in there, but when I'm not in there, they don't. It's really weird, but I know that they feel confident in there. They have not used their cat tree in the kitchen very much. I'm a little bit surprised. They have not really used the one in here much. They tend to just use it to climb around the room because they can actually get, it's, it's not got a lot of height this room just because it's the way I've done it. There's obviously you can climb all the way behind here. You can get onto this furniture here. You can walk along the other side, drop onto the cat scratcher, drop onto the TV cabinet, drop onto the floor. And then they have a little area around the window where there's two chairs. And I bought a lovely window pad that I had custom made on Amazon so that they can use the window ledge and have that little space. And they have used it actually. I've got a beautiful picture of um, Teddy sleeping on it. Hello, who are you? Billy's here. And Teddy, hi. Come say hi. So this is Billy. Billy is a menace, aren't you, baby boy? I thought I would not be able to tell these guys apart, but I, I actually really can. 
It's kind of mental. Billy's face, apart from one being lighter than the other, Billy's face is sort of longer and more nipped in, whereas Teddy's is kind of flatter, actually more like my Persians. It's really, really weird. But you can actually tell the difference between them. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Come here, Teddy. Oh, Teddy. Oh, Teddy. And this is Teddy. Say hello, Teddy. Hey, say hi. I'll put you on here. There you go. Oh, probably gonna jump off now. I don't know what you will have been able to see of Billy there because he decided to sit right on my lap, which admittedly is not on camera. Hey, hi. Hey, Teddy. Hey, Teddy. Hi. Hey. Hi, pretty. Yeah. They are so beautiful, I can't even begin to tell you. Billy's having a little bit of a scratch. Come on, come say hi again, because no one saw you. Do you think I'd be very upset to only meet one of you? Hey, hi. Oh, you're so affectionate. Yes, oh no. His brother's coming and it might not be good news. Oh, oh, oh. Are you going to jump on there? Oh. Billy, can you even see him? You might see him on the edge of the camera. What Billy absolutely loves to do is play with my lamp, which upsets me because it's my favorite lamp and it's brand new. So hopefully the lamp will last. Hey, come here. Oh, okay, come here. If you guys go to sleep, I'm gonna feel really bad because I have to edit this video and I can't stay here to do it, you know? Can you see him now? You can see the edge of him. Billy, hi, Billy. Billy, come here, come on, come here, see everyone, come see everyone, hello, come on then, good boy, good boy, hopefully you can see the difference, so Billy's face is just, he's just a completely different boy, and he, oh, I know, I know, oh, I put lipstick on you, oh no, <laughs> So generally speaking, they will sit like this with me, on and off, not all the time. They're not supposed to be lap cats, that's another thing about this breed. They're not supposed to be lap cats, but they kind of are. They do pick and choose a little bit, like Teddy's quite happy here in this little alcove. Yes, I know, I know. Such an affectionate boy. But it just kind of depends on how they're feeling and what they're doing. They tell me when they want affection most of the time. Billy likes to sometimes roll over um, on his back and get belly rubs, which is nice. So they're just really affectionate and they're really lovely. And I couldn't ask for more. They're so cute. And you're so sleepy. And I feel so bad because I'm going to have to get up. I'm going to have to get up. And I've called you down and I feel really, really bad. Oh, careful. Careful. What? What are we doing? What are we doing? I'm gonna have to wipe the top of your head, you got a little bit of lipstick on it and that's gonna bother me. It's gonna bother me. Yeah, so sometimes they'll sit on me, sometimes they won't. I actually do think in this case, a lot of it is to do with the heat because this is a really warm blanket and it's very hot in here. This is the coldest room in the house right now and it is still really warm. It must be at least 23 degrees in here. It ain't no joke. And these boys are very, very fluffy, aren't you? So that is my rather garbled diary of a kitten video, kitten introduction, Billy and Teddy. Teddy is very sweet and affectionate, less confident, but a big softy. And Billy is just your man that knows what you want, aren't you? And I absolutely adore them. And I love every day I spend with them. And I love learning more about them as well. It's been so fun. I feel really, really blessed to have not one, but two of them. And very quickly before I go, that was something I definitely thought about because there is just me here. So when there is no one here, they're not necessarily gonna get anything from anybody else or anything. So I needed to either, honestly, kind of have like two cats or no cats. And that's for their benefit, really. It's like that saying where it's like, oh, if you really love your dog, get them a dog. There is a big myth about cats being aloof and generally not, not caring, not bothered about being alone. It's a pretty big myth. So I wanted to keep them together. They are brothers, should have mentioned that as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It is a little bit different from what I usually make, obviously, but I wanted to introduce them and I always said I would and Hopefully you really enjoyed this video. Of course, you'll probably see them here and there when I film in the house, blah, blah, blah. I think I'll do an update video on them maybe in six months or something like that. 
just to show you how they're doing because no doubt they'll be so much bigger and fatter won't you so thank you very much for watching this video please leave a like down below leave a comment and maybe i could be able to answer some of your questions that you might have i will do my best and yeah thank you very much for meeting my cute little family of billy and teddy and me oh teddy's asleep under the tripod Oh, baby boy. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.